Welcome back. This is the second episode of my Korean grocery shopping tour. Now I'm going to be talking about seasonings, which are equally important. Why don't you join me and we do shopping together. Come with me. We are in the fermented paste section. This is gochujang, red pepper paste that we use in the famous tteokbokki, for example. It's quite spicy. And the other one is soya bean paste, gungjang, that we use in many of the stews. Now we are in the ekchot section, which is the fish sauce. There are different types of them. One is the kanari, and the other one is the miochichot, and the last one is the sechot. And these are all different types, but they're mainly used to make kimchi. Actually, actually makes me smile each time I pass by this section because I remember this uh, TV program, Il Bagi, where the people were trying to tease each other by offering coffee that they put actual in it. As you can imagine, the taste is quite unique. I am in the soy sauce section. Do not be overwhelmed with the choice. There are actually two types. This one is for soup, and this is the usual one that we use for seasoning, for uh, dishes as well. It's called chin kanjang. It's all about the size and maybe the taste a little bit. This green one, for example, has a little bit less salty taste. Now I'm going to be talking about the famous Chamgirum, which is the roasted sesame seeds oil. It is very particular. As much as the Westerners use olive oil for their dishes, the Koreans use this oil for most of the dishes they make. It has a very unique taste, a very strong taste. Don't use uh, too much of it because for Westerners, the taste must, might be overpowering sometimes. to stop here. This thing takes me to my childhood. This is called yujacha. You can make a lovely tea with this. This is very famous, especially for its yuja. It's a kind of citrus from Jeju Island and you just put it in hot water and it becomes a delicious tea. I hope you liked and enjoyed our shopping experience together. Now that you know more about the Korean ingredients, you can start cooking some of the signature dishes. Korean Cultural Center in Brussels have great tutorial videos about how to cook some of the signature Korean dishes. Why don't you check them out and let us know? Let's get cooking all together! Bye bye! 안녕히 계세요!